Target in range! Excellent. of a magnet stopping a sea monster. Help! This place is infested with monsters! Guys, look out! That's where we set the... Trap. Oh, no! <gasps> Considering we're squashed under the Loch Ness Monster! <laughs> monster? I don't think so. Take another look. Huh? Colin and Angus Haggard? Rawr. So, if this one's a fake, like, what about that one? Time for this monster to hit the beach! Professor Fiona Pembroke? It's all very simple. Professor Pembroke has been behind this all along. She did a good job. Scoob and I have been scared all along. The locked hatch we found on board her vessel was actually a secret passageway. It led to her homemade monster submarine she kept docked beneath her boat. She'd simply climb down the hatch and pedal off into the lock. That way she could be free to do her staring while we all thought she was on the boat. But it wasn't Shannon she was after, or any of us. It was really Sir Ian's attention she wanted. Me? What do I have to do with any of this? She was using fake monsters to get you to believe in a real one. Exactly. She wanted you to become a Nessie true believer yourself. But she couldn't count on Nessie making an appearance. So she created her own. And she hired Angus and Colin to help her. Your sons were trying to scare away the athletes so they could win the games. It's not true. We don't even care about the games. We just like a good practical joke. That monster thing's the greatest joke we ever pulled. Hey, that's better than the hedgehog in the toilet bowl. The hedgehog in the toilet bowl is a good one, mate. I should have prayed harder for daughters. It's true. Ian would never have looked at my new photos unless he came to believe in the beast. She had to find a way to convince him, and the Highland Games at Blake Castle offered her the perfect opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> 